1,083. Perhaps I'll never reach the center. Oh, hello, and welcome to Kid History, where we uncover the incredible true stories behind the events of kid life. Today's lesson, the history of the pillow fight. Some argue the first pillow fight on record occurred in 1588, when two sibling pillows wouldn't stop arguing over who got more space on the bed. Others will tell you that pillow fighting originated in 1731, when bedding was so scarce people would hold streetwide brawls just to get some comfortable sleep. But the real story took place years later, in the 1840s, when the fearsome French brothers of Nashville, Tennessee had a chance to head west for the gold rush and turned it down. They predicted another industry was on the rise, and it could make the millionaires. Chicken ration. That's right. Peter and Doyle French thought there was money in poultry athletics. Their scheme to turn clucks in the bucks had only one problem. We don't got no chickens, Peter. But the farmer next door did. So the guys hatched a plan. Get it? Hatched. <laughs> Not really. They were going to break into the neighbor's barn, steal our birds, and be off to the races. Get it? Races? <laughs> Not really. The French brothers might have been scary, but they were also stupid. See, the entire time they were planning the chicken heist, they were doing so with the door wide open. Heck, the farmer walked past the place three separate times, enough to get the whole story. That night, she plucked one feather from each of her chickens and glued them onto, you guessed it, pillows. She then placed the dummy birds in their coop and went to bed. The burglars soon reached the barn, saw their fine feathered boot, and decided to pounce. But it was only after they grabbed the chickadees that they realized... These ain't chickadees, Doyle. Cockadoodle do. Peter and Doyle blamed each other for the blunder, and it wasn't long before they were using their fake chickens as real weapons. This little, shall we say, pillow fight was happening. The farmer alerted the sheriff, and in no time, the French brothers were loaded into the paddy wagon for being a couple of bad eggs. <laughs> Get it? Bad eggs? No! But how did the brothers' behavior find its way into the Hall of Fame at Kid Pastimes? Simple. The farmer's son was watching the whole thing. And there you have it, the story behind the first pillow fight. Join us next week for The History of the Homework Excuse. It's time for another life lesson from an everyday average teen boy. If you can't cut the mustard, you can always cut the cheese. Yeah, that was a good one. Guess who got a brand new iMac? <laughs> cool. I live for the applause, applause, applause. If you didn't notice, check out my first album title. I Just like to. Tinkerbell, if you don't clap for me, I'll drop dead. This song is underwhelming. I don't know what it means. Just add some glitter, drop to the floor, convulse and scream. Ow! One second, I'm a goose. Suddenly, the goose is me. 